Okay, we're going inside now. We have a little latch here for the step. Just pull the latch. It is adjustable here, so you can adjust the legs down if you need to. Go right up inside. Off. Okay. We have pantry back here. You have your monitor panel here. You can test your freshwater tank, battery, black tank, gray tank, and gray tank two. Switch for your water pump to, if you were using your onboard water. Water heater, tank heaters, and the lights for inside and outside. You have your awning switch in and out. And then your slide room in and out. This switch down here is the 110 power and it switches from the fireplace to the AC. Down is your AC, up is the fireplace. You can only use one at a time. Down here is your converter and power panel. Your 110 breakers here, 12 volt fuses here. These two here are for the converter and the battery reverse polarity protector. Okay, TV, your remotes are up here. You have a remote for the TV, a remote for the stereo, and a remote for the fireplace. <laughs> okay, stove here. It automatically uh, light with the striker. You have a striker here. So you just turn your gas on. And take a second for the gas to get here. Should have brought my lighter out. <laughs> yep. Try one more time. This striker also works for the oven. You'll just turn your oven to the on position, to the or to the light, and use your striker again to light that. And you also have a light, the light switch on and off. Either blue or red. Oh, that's blue. Maybe one's higher than the other. Okay, microwave up here. Just like household microwaves, it's got the rotisserie in it. Uh, let's see. Toilet flushes with a foot valve. Part way down puts water in the bowl and then all the way down flushes the toilet. The shower has a on off switch on the head so that you can conserve water. So you can get it set to your temperature that you want. Get wet, then shut it off while you're soaping up and then turn it back on when you get ready to get the soap off. Front bedroom, there's a storage compartment underneath with an extra cushion for the bed up front where the table is. We also have ports up here for a TV and there's a TV backer up on the wall if you want to have a TV mounted in here. Okay, ground fault outlet for the, the bathroom. If you don't have any 12 volt in your outlets, check here first, make sure that that is on. Your controls for your furnace, the, the gas furnace and the air conditioner. And it's off, fan, fan high, cool, low cool, in the auto mode, and then your heat. And then you just scroll up and down for whatever temperature you want. LP detector down here. Now if your batteries do get low, that will chirp every once in a while. It's an indication your battery is low. Your refrigerator is a 12 volt refrigerator. It runs on 12 volt only. 
and your switch to turn it on is up here, you just push and hold. And then you can set your temperature, whatever temperature you want to. To turn it off, you just push and hold. You wanna make sure that that is off when you're not using it, otherwise it'll draw your battery down. Okay, the dinette table, you just pick up on it, off the, get it off the legs. And then the table sets on this lip here, all the way around the edge. And then that other cushion up front, you lay it on top of the table and take one of these cushions, lay it on top of the table to make a bed. Stereo, power on is over here. I believe this is also a CD and DVD player. It plays onto the TV and you have a USB port with it also. And I believe that is it for inside.